Question. A nurse is caring for a 68-year-old client receiving warfarin therapy for atrial fibrillation. The client's IN are as 4.2, and they report gum bleeding and dark stools. Which nursing actions are appropriate? Select all that apply. A. Hold the next dose of warfarin and notify the health care provider. B. Administer vitamin K as prescribed to reverse anticoagulation. C. Encourage the client to increase intake of leafy green vegetables to balance INR. D. Document the findings and continue the same dosage as the client is asymptomatic. E. Assess the client for signs of internal bleeding, such as hematuria and bruising. F. Educate the client to avoid aspirin or NSAIDs while on warfarin therapy. Answer. A, B, E, F. Rationale. A. Hold the next dose and notify the provider. Correct. An INR of 4.2 is above the therapeutic range, 2 to 3 for most indications, indicating increased bleeding risk. The nurse must hold the medication and report it promptly. B. Administer vitamin K as prescribed. Correct. Vitamin K acts as a reversal agent for warfarin toxicity and helps restore clotting function. E. Assess for internal bleeding. Correct. Dark stools, melina, and gum bleeding suggest active bleeding. Assessing for additional signs, such as hematuria or ecchymosis, is critical. F. Educate about avoiding aspirin or NSAIDs. Correct. These medications potentiate bleeding risk and must be avoided. C. Increase leafy greens. Incorrect. Leafy greens are high in vitamin K and can lower INR, but changes in diet should not be made independently during toxicity. D. Continue same dosage. Incorrect. Continuing warfarin at this INR increases risk of hemorrhage and violates patient safety protocols.